there's someone behind me. That was frightening. That was legitimately scary. I did not expect that. That made me tense up a little bit. My butt cheeks clenched slightly. Okay, well that's... Too much information. Yeah, a little Probably. bit. And welcome to GT Not Live. Oh, wait, hold on. I should have done it the other way. Hey guys, and oh welcome God. to GT Not Live, where today I am not allowed to scream, apparently. Your mic is omnidirectional. Can you please not go directly into it? Well, like, if it's omnidirectional, then any direction I choose should be a valid direction. Well, if you're going directly into it, you're getting a lot of breath in. And that's not very pleasant. I have this puff here. Oh. Should I add on a puff? Puff it up. Let's puff it up. Put on a little puff. Get puffy with it. <laughs> puff is a little too small for this microphone. Ed. There we go. Got it. Oh, perfect. Better. Yeah, I think so. Excellent. Hey, hi. Hi, everyone. We're not starting the game yet. Hi, uh, today we're playing Do Not Scream, or Don't Scream, uh, and as I understand it, it's a game where I'm not supposed to scream, or be loud, which is hard for me, because I project from the diaphragm. We're pushing Matt to the limit today, y'all. Yeah, you're pushing me to the limit by not allowing me to project diaphragmatically. So, I don't know, man. This might be the hardest challenge that we've ever had to face on GT Not Live. That's what I'm saying. Uh, speaking of hard challenges, Ash, what's your clue of the day for your novel? The Ooh. great American novel. It's the Ash book clue of the day. Ash clue book of the day. I, nope. No, I'll work on not, it. We'll, okay. We'll workshop it. Awesome. Sounds yeah. good. <laughs> Let's see. My clue of the day. Yes. For this book is. That was supposed to be a drum roll, but that sounded like me clearing my throat or getting ready to puke into a toilet. Yes. What is it? Numerous. Numerous? <laughs> numerous. As in, <laughs> numerous words? Again, like that's not, are, are, you, are you doing a book about like the populace? Uh, the state of humanity? It is not about the populace. Numerous. Numerous. I wish you gave us like, is it about numbers? No. Is it about? You're getting more clues out of me this way. And I feel like that's cheating. No, I don't think it is. I think you're, you gave me a single word, which could be like, a chapter header. It could be nothing. Numerous words, numerous pages. I don't know. That's that's not helpful, Ash. Oh, you want a better clue? Yeah, you want, I want a better, better clue? clue. Yeah. No chapters. No chapter. No chapters. Oh, very avant-garde of you. <laughs> oh my. Anyway, enough about Ash. Let's talk about screaming. I feel like you know when it comes to jump scares on YouTube, I get I, I get ragey. But I don't, I, I'm not much of a screamer, right? I'm not like, ah! Yeah, you don't scream. You more go like, whoa! Like, oh! Or like, ha ha, that was funny. You tried to scare me. Ha ha, you fooled me. Uh, but this game came out, like, what, shortly before Halloween or on Halloween? Yeah, really shortly before. Yeah, really shortly before Halloween. And as I understand it, the premise is there's a microphone next to your face because we're all living in a content age where we're constantly making content and talking into microphones and recordings and... You're gonna get scared, and so don't get scared, because if you get if you if you make too loud of a sound, you're gonna get restarted. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. If you scream, you lose. You scream, you lose. So, title is not clickbait in this case. Do not scream. And that's that's the challenge, right? Is is there like a, a story? Is there lore? Is there lore? Or, sorry, is there lore? I think that the style of this game implies. Lore. 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 Okay, so I guess the, the moral of this story is we're going to be taking today's episode and talking very quietly about the game's lore. So I'll do my best to not scream and beat the game. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Any, anything else I need to go No, going into this? Um, I don't know. Is there, is there a world where you want to get your scream out first before going in? Or do you want to try to save the screams up until the end? Uh, I think we save the screams up until the end. Okay. I think I, I, I repress 
all my pent up screams until the end, at which point then I release them in some interesting and or comedic way. Yeah, that sounds right. like good content. That feels that feels solid. Yeah. Right? One of those primordial screams. Ooh. Yeah. Primordial. Not to be confused with primal scream. Very different. <laughs> primordial scream, you're really reaching into the depth of like the primordial ooze of which we all evolved. Not primal scream where we're just like devolving into the apes that we all evolved from. So yeah, we're going to the primordial ooze screaming. So it's going to be a very goopy scream. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I spoiled it already. I okay. So to make it up, you need to do a primal scream at the end. At the end, we'll do we'll do some primal screaming at the end. Okay. <laughs> so uh, without any further ado, is this set up to start, or are we gonna have to set this thing up? So you're gonna have to open it, and then we'll calibrate it together. Okay. And then we'll head right in. All right. Do not scream. Don't scream. An Unreal Engine Five horror experience. Ooh, it's a horror experience. Don't scream. Contains flashing lights, intense audio and potentially distressing content. Individuals with pre-existing heart conditions, epilepsy, and arachnophobia. Oh, no. Not arachnophobia. Don't be afraid to scream. It's all part of the fun. Ask your friends and siblings to play. Explore as much of the forest as you can. It's huge. Wear headphones to block out outside noise. Ensure volume is turned up to max. Play in a room with the lights turned Before off. Before playing Don't Scream, please play the game the way we intended. Ah! This means setting up your microphone correctly. Okay. Here's how to do that. You should be able to speak only quietly, not loudly, okay. with slight gasps or sudden sounds <gasps> counting as screams. Oh. If you speak too so loudly and your voice exceeds the threshold don't of the microphone divider line, a red flash will appear on the screen okay. signaling a scream. Okay. It's up to you to find a comfortable balance between speaking softly right. and what should be considered a scream when you calibrate your microphone. I mean, I don't think For optimal results, you should determine the best distance to position the microphone from your mouth. Okay. Please be aware that external audio software can impact your game's microphone calibration. Yes. Adjust settings in both your game and audio software for optimal calibration. Okay. Thanks for listening. Play fair. And most of all, fair. don't scream. Wow. Don't cheat, man. Don't cheat. Oh, you, you got it. By cheating, we're disrespecting the game. Yes. No, do not scream. Absolutely, we are. Yeah, do not do that. Okay. Wow. That's pretty intense, I gotta say. Taking do not scream very seriously. Hello. Hello, Mario. Hello, Mario. That seems. Okay, survive 18 minutes without screaming. Ah! However, there's a catch. Time only progresses when you move, and all scares are unpredictable. Okay. But he said a, a, a loud... <gasps> <gasps> Use the microphone calibration slider to adjust your microphone's volume output. Ensure that whispers or quiet speech don't exceed the volume threshold indicated by the microphone divider line. Exceeding the threshold of the divider line to trigger a red flash. Yo! Oh, that's what... That's what nope. Yo! Oh, it's still... Hey! Oh. oh, no. I'm so scared right now. Oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, boy. Okay. So how can I talk here? I can talk here. I can talk here. I can talk reasonably. Should I do it lower? A little bit lower than this? Because I, I feel like I can talk like in a kind of normal voice here. Yeah, I think you need to push yourself a little harder. Push. Push it to the limit. Here we go. <gasps> Oh, oh boy! Okay, that's, hey everyone. All right, so fun, so fun fact. I think I got this one and done. I've I've been so desensitized to jump scares that unless this is crafting me an incredibly intense sense of dread, I think we got this. One and done. Okay. I'd have to survive 18 minutes without screaming. I I have to move. I have to move. Okay. Great. But it, it seems like it's just survive. There's no, like, end goal. There's no, like, find the thing or complete these missions. It is just move around. 18 minutes of random motion. I got this. Wah! All right. I'm activating my quiet mode now. I'm now using my Hollywood voice, which is airy and fun. Okay, shall we begin? Are you ready, Ash? Yes, I'm ready. Let's begin. Okay. Do not scream. Keep talking and do not scream. Great. Like if you cry every time. <laughs> Don't scream. 18 minutes on the clock. Ready. Begin. Wow. This is very 
photorealistic. I am very impressed. Hello. There is a farm. <laughs> there is a homestead. There is a mini mart. <laughs> and there is a cemetery. Wow. I have everything here. But you know what I could do? I could spend 18 minutes right here and win the game. That's some big brain strategy right there. I'm gonna say something horrible. <laughs> what? What are you gonna say, Ash? Does the orange thing on the ground look like an Among Us who's face down to you? This does look like an Among Us. <laughs> it's just a backpack. It is a backpack, but it does <laughs> very closely resemble an Among Us character. This person has definitely died. Oh, oh that was actually frightening. I almost had a large audible gasp in that moment. I did not expect that person to move. I am quite impressed. Well, can, can I help this individual? Can I, can, I, can I remove the knife from their hand? I cannot, okay. I'm sorry, ma'am. I must continue onward. <laughs> this is crazy. This is nice. Welcome to, this is basically ASMR the game. I know. This could make a really good test run for the eventual GT Live ASMR series. Right, welcome to GTSMR. Oh wow, we have a secret pipe here. Maybe this is uh, symbolic of the horror of corporations desecrating our beautiful natural landscapes. Oh, not the corporations. Right, right. Not our landscapes. Yeah, just taking a mighty blow on our landscapes. I will say that uh, that's less of a scream-worthy <laughs> fear and more of just a like existential dread. Yeah. Making me feel sad and depressed about the, the state of life. Yeah. What a sad, sorry state we find ourselves in. I am walking in circles right now. I don't think that's a bad strategy. You know, I, I think it is a, probably a winning strategy yeah. for winning the game, but also probably a bad strategy when it comes to uh, winning viewers. <laughs> I have a feeling the viewers would not enjoy that strategy. Yeah, probably I'm gonna not. go to, what, cemetery, farm. I will go to homestead. Oh, it's getting very dark now. Oh boy. It's a very fast sunset, I guess. That's right. Must be, must be winter. <laughs> Spring forward, fall back and all that, you know? Right, for sure. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely rolled back the clock here an hour. Yeah. Maybe it's for oh, the better. It's, it's oh, quite dark. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Siren Head is now attacking us. Oh. It would appear as though Siren Head is is on the hunt. <laughs> is this a vending machine? What is this? They're they're doing tornado drills right now. Oh, great! The first Saturday of every month in Ohio, they they run the the tornado alarm test to make sure that they're functioning. Every, That's what it sounds like. Every month. Every month. Oh my god. I know. They're we, so concerned. We are we are very good with our tornado safety. I, I mean, do tornadoes happen more frequently there? In, in Ohio, yeah. Oh, I that, see. We, we don't get many natural disasters. Oh. <clears throat> tornadoes. I grew up being pretty afraid of tornadoes. Oh, same. Like if a tornado swept through this game right now, <laughs> I might scream. That's fair. That, I, would be, I would be frightened by that. I like that they were just random birds. <laughs> it kind of gave away that something scary might happen. Yeah, I mean, scarier than the partially standing fence. I don't know, the construction of this fence is quite alarming. <laughs> it is very lackluster. What was the point of this? This fence, yeah, this is this fence is not doing anything. Maybe it's, maybe it's a fence that's keeping in a dog. Oh. So it doesn't need to be like very efficient. Oh, this bird is probably going to jump out at me, isn't it? If I approach this bird, are you going to jump scare me? <gasps> you are not. Okay. I don't like this. <laughs> so I... What happened? I've been knocked down. But I get the point. No! No! Get out of here! Oh, I did not scream. I... What? Come on! Get Okay. Okay, game. Sure, sure. That's brutal. I I strongly disagree with that assessment of my performance game, but okay, I see you. <laughs> I like that I also reacted to nothing, apparently. Birds can be scary. Jason would have screamed. That was that.
was clearly a moment for Jason there. <laughs> that was a Jason moment. <laughs> Epic right, Jason well. moment. I, I purposely lost there in honor of Jason. Right. So you're welcome, Jason. <laughs> that was the Jason run. Okay, that was the, yeah, that's, that's how Jason would have performed here. Nothing in particular scary. Just being close to a bird <laughs> frightened him. What would Jason do? Scream. My witty bandit, my our witty banter got a little bit too witty. I guess so. Maybe a little bit too loud. I will say, this is very graphically real. Ah, uh, it is. I'm quite impressed with the, the graphical fidelity of this game. Me as well. <laughs> oh wow, we got here while it was still light. You got oh, us. Right, no pussyfooting around this time. Fantastic. I wanted to make sure that I got to the vending machine as soon as, as humanly possible. All right, well, there's the homestead with its derelict fence. That is quite alarming, I will say. This homestead is not very homey to me. Not very homey. No. Nor steady. No. So this... I'm really feeling on both halves of its name. Yeah, I can fall. <laughs> Neither home nor steady. Don't you be laughing too loud, Lash. I'm not. I'm not. We, can, we can't afford to lose again. I know. I'm sorry. My gamer pride is on the line. I, I'm aware. As if I have a lot of that. <laughs> I worry a little bit that I may have to cough. <laughs> I may have to pull a daze on day. Oh, wait. What? Why is it? Oh. 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 Okay. That was a very loud car opening. Can I get in? I cannot get in. Okay. Cool. That door is unopenable. Got him. <laughs> Great. Perfect. I like that this game is just look for the opportunities to scare yourself. I don't know what you've done with the place. Here we go. Right, it's beautiful. Hello, bird. You bested me last time, but not this time. Nice. I'm gonna be extra quiet now. Oh, 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 we got, we got some lights flashing over here. I hope nothing pops out of me from. What do we got there? Don't love that sound. In the words of anti McDonald's, ba 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 ba, not loving it. <laughs> Everyone's favorite restaurant. That was legitimately frightening. I had a moment where I felt a little sense of dread. I was made nervous by that jump scare. I felt a little tension in my stomach oh. and heart area. The heart area. Oh. There's a lot going on with these spirits, I will say. <laughs> they're, they're throwing balls at me. They're shattering lights. Of the rest of the bathroom. Oh, is it just like a green thing? 
there's a lot of there's a lot of woodland creatures. <laughs> uh, ducks, cattails. What? You can't be out. I mean, up in Ohio. Oh, that was somewhat loud and a bit frightening. Can I reveal what this painting is? I'm very curious. I cannot sadly. Oh. I'm shocked that there are any light bulbs left remaining in this house. Oh. Not great. Hello. Hi there. Good to meet you. Yeah. I didn't realize that we had licensed the grudge. This is kind of fun. It's cool that there's still no electricity. I'm, I'm disappointed that I can't see what's inside this door. I know. Cowabummer. Wow. Cowabummer. But yeah, in Ohio, my family and my extended family are really big into theming bathrooms uh -huh. and rooms of the house around various animals. Really? We have a bear bathroom, like a teddy bear bathroom. Oh my god. We have a duck bathroom, which is the one full of all the green. All the green toilet seats. Right. That makes sense. I guess. My my aunt has a is very much into pigs and cows. Okay. Cool. So our kitchen is very oh, another green. Oh my gosh. They love it here. Right. This this is like the reason this isn't frightening to me is because this is basically this is basically my house at home. I feel very at home here. Well that's great. How are you? I'm happy for you. Oh, that was a spooky shadow climbing up the stairs. But alas, I have to keep moving to progress time. Right. If the viewers want to comment yes. what themed bathrooms they have in their home, oh. please leave that note down yeah. below. Let us know your thematic bathrooms, please. My grandmother likes to theme bathrooms around the beach. Ooh, that's fun. Seashells and sailboats. Does she live near the beach at all? Absolutely not. That tracks. But I think that's why, you know. I will say this house, this homestead, this homestead has a, quite, quite a large dog my friend. That's quite, quite a large number of bathrooms. I'm sorry, ma'am. Forgive me. I did not mean to intrude. I just needed to, I just needed to use the facilities. Thank you. I'll be on my way. Good work. Honestly, though, I'm impressed with how robust and, and, and the quality square footage of that house. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of bathrooms, a lot of bedrooms. That would do numbers on Zillow. That would do great on Zillow. Right. You know, well, it's a bit of a fixer-upper. Exactly. Could use a little bit of a flip job, but... In this oh, economy. Right. Exactly. Underappreciated, Jeff. Right. Uh, I'm now very lost. <laughs> I'm trying to go back to my dying friend. <laughs> At the vending machine, I'm kind of thirsty. <laughs> After my trip to the homestead. I mean, I have to say, I'm sure on paper it looked like a very inconvenient location, but in practice, that vending machine is quite convenient. The, having a vending machine in the middle of the abandoned woods is quite impressive. <laughs> yeah. Gotta admit. Oh, is this the pipe? No, nope, that is a log. <laughs> Damn. Oh, there's someone behind me. That was frightening. That was legitimately scary. I did not expect that. That made me tense up a little bit. My butt cheeks clenched slightly. Okay, well that's... Too much information. Yeah, a little probably. bit. Probably. Yeah. I mean, you could have talked about the blood pressure or something, but... <laughs> I didn't want to hide anything from the audience in that moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> this, is, this is quite fun. Oh, Choo Choo Charles. Oh, I remember that game. That was quite fun. If Choo Choo Charles suddenly burst out of the woods and attacked me, 
I would scream, not out of fear, but of sure elation, of sure elation. It being probably the best gaming experience of my life. I mean, it's been a big year for Charles. Crossing over at the Garden of Bad Man, I hope there's someone up ahead. I have to say, the only thing that would make it better is if we got um, Mr. Shoot Tank back. Oh, that would be amazing. Right, oh, wait. For a second, I saw the vending machine. The biggest scare I've had at this point is that the vending machine has disappeared from my sight. Just the demon, though. <laughs> right, just the demon. He did not bring me a Diet Coke. Dang. That was a blow. That was a blow. If you were to get a soda from a demon, what sort of demon? Apparently, that guy in the distance did not hear the instructions of do not scream. Oh. Because he definitely screamed. Yeah, they probably just lost. <laughs> but back to my initial, more important question. Yes. If a demon were to give you a soda, what soda do you think he'd give you? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, we're not supposed to scream right now. I... They won't let me ask my damn question. I know those demons. Oh, so God. inconsiderate. They don't want us to know what it is. <laughs> I'm so hopelessly lost at this point. So please, Ash, continue asking your question. Okay. Well, I actually kind of finished asking the question if you if you want to answer it, unless you don't remember, in which case I'll recite it a third time. Oh, please. If a demon were to give you a soda, which soda do you think the demon would give you? Dr. Pepper. Is that your version of, like, soda from, like, like demonic soda? Like what? What does that mean for you? I just think that when I think of sodas from the underworld, I think they would be spicy. <laughs> and Dr. Spice. Pepper has a bit of that spicy hit. I'm a pepper. He's a pepper. She's a pepper. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? And those demons would like to be peppers. Is Dr. Pepper actually spicy? I've never had it. <laughs> Have you never had a Dr. Pepper? No. Are you kidding me? No. What world do you live in, Ash? A world where That's, I don't like soda. I mean, still, the, of everything that has happened in this game in the last 18 minutes, that is perhaps the most frightening thing to have happened this whole time. Yeah. The fact that I just learned that you have not had a very mainstream soda. Yeah. <laughs> I've had, um, Coke. Regular Coke. I've had... A little bit of Pepsi. And I've had Peepsy. Oh, Peepsy. Yeah. I feel like I've corrupted you while you've been here then. Because I've given you so many sodas. Oh, there's someone who's going to attack me. Ew. <laughs> oh. It's exploded into viscera. Oh. <laughs> What's the thing that's rotating? Is that a foot? I think it's a foot. Oh. Like it's, right it's, at the calf. Ooh, right at the calf. Is that what the inside looks it like? Looks a little bit like beef jerky. Right. Like a nice meat stick. It's unfortunate. <laughs> I would eat it, but I have nothing to wash it down right now. Oh. But if a demon handed you some Dr. Pepper. Oh, there's a, there's a shadow creature right here. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> no time to wait. Okay. I was really hoping that I could find another location. <clears throat> but all hope of that is now gone. <laughs> I thought they were kind of cute. They're so little guy goaded. <laughs> you can give me a lot of scary ghosts um. and pop ups and shadows and things like that. But you give me a horde of spiders marching toward me. I was close. It almost got me. Oh boy. It was real close. Really? That was like the big thing. That was the big one. Wow. That was real. That was that was rough. Why? What did you not feel that one, Ash? No, I thought they were cute. Those spiders were moving faster than Skip does when the food dish fills up. <laughs> yeah, but they were quieter than Skip. <laughs> 
the yes, Kim is very loud when it comes to food related things. Y'all might not know this, but the dude <laughs> starts yelling. Oh, he gets violent. He yells. He will literally climb the length of my body <laughs> in the attempts of getting a sandwich or some deli meat. <laughs> And just hang there until you give him your food. Oh, he will, he will claw into you and you will, will be stuck there forever. <laughs> well, this is a nice tour through the woods at this point. Yeah, I feel like you and I. Okay, rude. I feel like you and I have gotten a lot closer during this experience. Yeah, this has been nice. Yeah. Honestly. I feel like I probably should have stayed in the homestead a bit longer. Yeah, we're just kind of going right now. Yeah, just just taking a tour. <laughs> I hope my I hope my friend who was in a position where I could have very easily saved her is doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing a flash of a hand across the screen was slightly frightening. There you have it. Piece of cake. Boom. Scariest thing was that bird. <laughs> Apparently, I, I laughed a little bit too hard at that bird. That was fun. This is cool. I I, I am bummed that it, they don't make it easier for you to go from location to location. Right. Like we ended up exploring the house, which was fun and cool. But then I'm like, okay, I feel like I've gone through all the different rooms of the house. So let me go to a new place. But I, I couldn't find any. It was just gone. I was just in loop land at that point. I mean, do we want to start just like maybe do a second round where yeah. we explore maybe one more location? Yeah, I think so. Let's do, what do you want? Cemetery? Mart? Wasn't Mart one of them? The Mini Mart? Yeah, let's do Mini Mart. I'm kind of intrigued by the Mini Mart. I'm intrigued by Like all the other ones, I'm like, oh, these are places from horror games that I'm used to seeing. But uh, Mini Mart seems fun and different. So let's do that. Oh, this is a different layout. Oh no, here we are. We are starting in the same place. The mini mart. This is the cemetery. 
Olmstead Mini Mart this way. So, we brought this up earlier about GT ASMR, right? What should we do as part of our ASMR? Do you think? Um, I think we can flip through the FNAF books and use yeah. a highlighter and just kind of go through that. Maybe yeah. jot down some notes. I think it would be really interesting to go back through all our old scripts and just re-record them all oh, as boy. ASMR recordings. I think we should do it. The hardest part of this challenge is just not laughing. I oh, know. That's where it's getting me. Um, the, we can the do the. has stopped for some reason. Oh, that's not great. That's not a great sign. No, it's not really. Um, we could do the Luigi episode as quietly as we can. Um, redo Sansa's Ness. We all, could. All the classics. Yeah, of course. Play all the hits. Yeah. Totally. I like that idea. I don't love the fact that there's a plane crash here. That no. does that does play off of a big fear of mine. But I also gotta say, again, that's that's one of those like, oh no, that's really sad and tragic and, and scary. But to stumble across it after the fact isn't necessarily screen worthy, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna send a quick um G chat to my colleague. Okay, send that chat. Make sure you type it softly, though. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. The time isn't even going. I'll I'll lean in so that I feel like the I should hear. reset this potentially because the time isn't doing a lot right now for me, and I'm afraid that if the time isn't progressing, the night will not progress. Unless the timer itself is invisible at this moment. I'm still looking for this mini mart. I can't quite find the mini mart. Okay, I've got an arrow very obviously leading me in this direction. I hope this is the mini mart. Mini marts are so underrated. I hope it's open after hours. Because it's gotten dark now. I find that many, many words are. I like the fact that the tornado siren is very reminiscent of Siren Head, but is also very reminiscent of the Purge siren. Oh, we have made it to the mini mark, ladies and gentlemen. Get hype. Get hype. Absolutely hyped. Let's, see, let's, see, let's hear it in the chat. Okay, it's a very well protected mini mart. Watch your tires on that one. Spooky. The spookiest of shopping carts. Oh man, this oh, is awesome. This is great, bud. Here we go. We are going to get some sick deals. I'm going to buy some bulk popcorn. Oh, man. Oh, this is the exit. Oh, no. I shouldn't go through the exit. Yeah, that's really bad. That would offend the spirits, I feel. We're going to do things the way that they've always yeah. done them. No, we need to respect <laughs> how this is operating. Is this the entrance? I don't think so. Uh, unclear. See? This is scary. They wrote trash in the dumpster. Just disrespect over the property. What a shame. Oh, the light just turned on. Did you see that? That one also said no entrance. <laughs> Boop. Should I open the doors? Just to take a peek inside. Just want to, just want to look. I was curious. Right, of course. Okay. But really, where is the entrance to this establishment? I know, I'm a little confused. It's no wonder they had to shut down. There was no way to go in and be a way out. Yeah. I feel 
like a regular, a regular patron of this establishment would not go to this amount of effort to buy their goods. I also have to say that stack of garbage bags, that's an issue. Right. That's, that's a big problem. There's certainly multiple health code violations that are happening here right now. Ash, I worry we might have to do the scariest thing possible, which is no. go in through the exit. No, don't say that. I know. We can't. Right. We might have to disobey no. the rules of the establishment, unfortunately. No. no. Truly, truly terrifying. Oh, Here we go. Gosh. Oh. Those are dead bodies. Yeah, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, many. Oh, okay. Oh, they're not wearing clothes, it doesn't seem. Oh, yeah, please. Okay. Uh, we'll just avert our eyes. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe, maybe you should not have, have showed up in the meat market. I, this is, this is such a blow. Right. Oh. Do you prefer blue or orange? So, oh, definitely blue. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely blue. Oh, my love what? Tickle, tickle, tickle. No, that's... Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> oh no, I did not. Oh, I laughed. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh no. I, I had a moment where I just. I, I did a huh. I did a huh. I did a huh. No. Oh, darn it. That was. Wow. Oh, man. I had a oh. moment where I just breathed out like, huh. Oh, curse me for being so funny. <laughs> Curse me for enjoying discussing things with you too much, Ash. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Wow. Well, hey. You know, I feel like we've got this pretty well on lock. Yeah. I think we we discovered a lot about the game, the map, each other. It's, oh, certainly. Yeah. Should we make a quick jaunt over to the cemetery? Yeah, let's, let's jaunt. Yeah, a quick jaunt. And this time I promise I won't breathe into the microphone. I'll pull Tazan Day and breathe away from the mic. Uh, I get it. My right nostril is not being a friend. So I'm like, don't say it. Oh, I already snorted and laughed before it even started. <laughs> Imagine spawning and then immediately just... just plopping over. Like, <laughs> okay. Sorry. I will not laugh. Okay. Are you very normal? This is more about do not laugh than do not scream. The cemetery. Let's go this way. This is where. This is where. A this lot where of spirits should be. This is where it gets real now. Here we go. Right. Right. I'm going to hold shift in the hopes that I get to a location slightly faster. Uh, wow. So much that we've uncovered here. Really? Yeah. It's been. It's been an excellent journey into our own psyches. I for sure. I just need to know to not snort into the microphone for joy or for fear. I don't know why it's so much easier when they say don't scream. I'm like, okay, I can do that. But when it's like, oh, don't laugh, that is significantly harder. It is. I mean, we could do a don't laugh challenge as well. Oh, we could. We could. Oh, I think we've made it to the cemetery. Could there be lore here? Or should I say... It's too sensitive. A, gra a grave rubbing. Why are we rubbing up the graves? <laughs> oh, it's a it's a thing that you do. Like I, I had to do this as as a field trip when I was in like second grade. I you what? Yeah, they take you to a cemetery and then you like put paper on graves and then you rub the side of a crayon over top of it and you make kind of like a rubbing or oh. copy of of the writing that's on the grave. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. It, it was weird when I was a kid. I'm like, this is a weird field trip. I, Medina High School, or yeah. sorry, Medina Elementary School. So overall, what I would say is this. 
Do not scream. Don't scream. This was fun. I enjoyed this. I actually wish I had... And, and we could, right? Like, we could be super silent the entire time. We could not talk. We could turn down the, the gain of the microphone. Like, this is fine. I think I proved in that, in all of these runs, that I'm not really at risk of screaming so much. It's more of the, like, snorts or ex- exhalations that, uh, and, and they're done out of, like, humor rather than screaming. So I, I'm proud of my performance here. I feel good. I am bummed that we didn't get to see more jump scares from more parts of this map. Um, I do wish that there was a little bit more. I, I get why they want to push you to keep moving. Uh, and that time passing is tied to you moving. I understand why that is. But by me wanting to constantly move and push forward and keep the timer going, I lose a lot of the scariest elements of this, which is moments where you have to sit and take in something or sit and like exist in a space feeling trapped and feeling like you can't move and feeling like you're forced to witness things in a lot of cases is more scary than anything running at the camera or jumping out at you and so finding moments where they take control and maybe the camera still keeps going uh, or the timer keeps going but they take control and I have to just sit there and experience things. I feel like that will allow you to create more tension and more anticipation of the scare that does or doesn't come, which in turn lower increases the dread, right? Increases the likelihood that I'm going to get a, oh, or like, oh, I didn't expect that to happen, right? So I think that to me is the, the biggest trick with this style of game. I like the concept. I like the design. I think the environments seem cool and the, the scares seem like a decent variety of them, but by me always feeling like I want to move forward and keep pressing forward, I lose a little bit of that dread that you could otherwise build. But otherwise, this is great. And I mean, Unreal 5 looks fantastic, and I don't know how quickly this is put together, but this is a really solid first step, and I'm curious to see where they go from here. Um, so with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is Do Not Scream, or Don't Scream. I keep saying Do Not Scream, but it's Don't Scream. This is Don't Scream. Uh, can you do it? How long can you make it? And uh, what, was, what was the ASMR quote? If, you had a, if you're a demon was delivering you a soda. What soda would that demon deliver you? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, And I might not encourage you to scream, but I do encourage you to tune in next time where there's going to be a lot more fun to be had. So without any further ado, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!